Hi there, welcome back to Survivor Geek. This is Doug, and in this video we'll be discussing level 1 fire starting conditions. Now, level 1 fire starting conditions is pretty much what we have here. It's nice and sunny, very light, it's relatively warm, there's lots of dry stuff around, there, you know, there's not a lot of damp, it's not, there's no wind at all. So, in these conditions, it's pretty easy to start a fire. So in these conditions, you don't want to use any of your carried tinders, you don't want to use up your stormproof matches or anything like that, because tinder is just plentifully available. You can use moss, you can use pine cones, you can use grasses, you can use papery bark, you can use tons of stuff out here. So you don't want to use up your level 2 and level 3 condition fire starting methods and tinders, because you've got plenty around here, and you have time to play around with different methods, because you're not really in life-threatening conditions right now. So the level one fire starting method I'm going to demonstrate today is a Fresnel lens. Like I've said before, this is basically a convex lens that has been flattened down to the size of a credit card. You focus the rays of the sun onto a tinder to create a coal and then blow that into a flame. So a couple of tips with this. Number one, you want to have the rough side towards the sun. And the tinder that you're focusing it on, you want to be a, a little bit more of a solid piece and you want it to be dark. So if you're using some dark leaves or grasses, you want to tighten them up into a ball. Um, and you don't want to use white materials, because white materials, it's just going to be a lot harder, if possible at all. So the perfect tinder for a Fresnel lens actually is a little piece of charred wood. This is black. It's pretty lightweight because all the moisture has been evaporated out of it. But it's still solid enough that there's no air spaces in there. So this actually is a very good uh, fire starting uh, tinder, and sometimes you can find this in the woods if there's been a forest fire or if you stumble across someone else's campfire. Um, but that's not a reliable thing, so we're not going to do the demonstration with that today. What we are going to do the demonstration with is this little piece of dried wood that I got out of the middle of a rotting log. This is also very dry, it's a darker material, and there's not going to be a lot of air spaces in there, but it's very light once again. So this will light right up into a little ember. I'm going to put this into <coughs> my little nest here, and I'm going to go ahead and start a fire with this now. All right, so first I'm going to show you how easily this thing can make an ember. Let's see, we got smoke already. Now don't be too excited, because smoke is easy to do with this. Ember's a little bit harder, takes a little bit more patience. But if you've got the right tinder, it's not all that hard. It's kind of focusing there a bit. Now here I'm going to show you. We've got a little ember in there. So now I've kind of cooled it off a bit, so we're going to go ahead and warm this back up for a second, and then we'll put it in our tinder bundle. And we have fire. And just build your sticks around that, and there you go. So once again, this has been Doug with SurvivorGeek.com showing you a demonstration of level one fire starting conditions with a Fresnel lens. Thanks for watching.